This is a brief video demonstration of using the LD1A software defined receiver. First thing to do is go to the start menu and start WinRAD, uh, which for you will probably be in your WinRAD folder. You should have installed it there. So open that folder and then select the current version of WinRAD. And in a moment, the WinRAD screen will appear. Unfortunately, uh, it fills the whole screen. Not necessarily the most convenient thing to do. Go to the Show Options button right here. Click it. And then click Select Input. And you are using sound card input, but you need to select LD1 here in order to connect it software-wise to the LD1. The Select Device dialog pops up, showing you that you do have an LD1A connected via USB and powered up. If you didn't, then you would see a different dialog here, and I'll add that to a later version of this demo. Click OK, and the LD1 dialog, which is a little control panel for the LD1, appears. Now, once WinRAD has keyboard focus, you can make this appear and disappear by clicking H. Click H and it goes away. Click H again and it reappears. Now the keyboard focus is on the dialog, so I have to click in WinRAD again and I'll make it go away. Got a couple of other things to set up here. Go to the Select Sound Card button and click it and this is where you select your input and output sound cards. For input, I've selected my EMU0202, which is a really nice sound card and not too expensive. Uh, it gives me a list of choices here. You select the one that you're going to be using. Uh, line in at rear panel is what I would be using if I didn't have the EMU uh, sound card. That's an external sound card. Line in at rear panel is my internal default sound card. And for output, normally you would be using speakers of one sort or another. I'm piping it into virtual audio cable so I can capture the audio to this demo as I record it. And when you've uh, selected the input and output sound cards you want to use, click OK. And then you need to select sample rates. Um, my EMU is uh, sampling at 192 kilohertz, so I select that. The output sample rate defaults to 11.025 kilohertz, and I don't really see any reason to change it. So once that's set up, click Close. And then let's bring up the LD1 dialog again. I'm going to use the coarse and fine sliders to set this to the 40 meter phone band. There, I set the coarse slider and it's showing 7.031 megahertz. So then I use the fine slider to bring it up to 7.178. And uh, now I'll get rid of that dialog again. And click the start button. And there is uh, what the receiver sees right now. I need to retune it. I'm using an MFJ Super High Q Loop antenna that needs to be retuned every time you change frequency because, as the name implies, it's a high Q antenna. There's a single sideband signal. I'll switch to LSB. Father's Day gift, Mother's Day gift, and then since Charlie and I birthday gift. 
And I'm needed to say he'll be home, I think, in September or October, Dale. Uh, I'd rather I'm glad he's still safe over there. Uh, I can't say how much I'm going to have to do Well, yeah, Mike, I mean, I'll stop complaining, man. Now stop complaining and start doing more praying, you know? I'd like to know where that guy is located. If I had to make a guess, I'd say Louisiana from his accent. Here's another signal. station either. tune again. This is a great antenna, but you do need to retune even for small frequency changes. There's a nice strong signal. Now I'm using a pretty wide filter here. I'll switch to the CW filter. zoom the frequency display in a bit so I can tune a little more intelligently. Now here's another way you can change the filter bandwidth. I'll go back to the wide filter. Down here, this is like a zoomed in frequency display. And I'll bring this over here. You can just drag this red outline that shows where the edges of the pass band are. And put the filter right where you want it. It's got some other cool features too that I'll uh, I'll show in a subsequent demo. That's probably about enough for now. When you're done, all you have to do is click exit. Or you can just click stop. 